Hey you guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make Nan pizza. Now with pizza, very similar with pasta, you can have any type of toppings. I mean, it is endless, excuse the background. So I have two different types of Nan here. I have the whole Nan and then I have these little bitty mini um, individual Nans. This is great if you have a big family. It's just three of us and JB doesn't eat pizza. Great if you have small children. You can buy this with garlic. You can buy wheat Nan also. Now, your sauces can be different. Um, this past week, I did pesto, tomato, and I also did barbecue sauce. Today, I'm only going to use this organic um, classico pizza sauce that I got from the grocery store. For toppings, I'm just showing you a different variety of, of toppings I have available. I have spinach, um, great tomatoes, sweet peppers, mushrooms. Of course, I have my pizza blend cheese. If you are vegan, you can use vegan cheese. You don't have to use cheese, but I never heard of now you putting cheese on pizza, but whatever. Jalapenos, garlic. For seasoning, I have red pepper flakes, garlic, Italian seasoning, and some salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to use the bigger nan because I'm greedy. And I think I'm going to do, for my pizza, I'm gonna use spinach, mushrooms, and these sweet peppers with a little bit of garlic and jalapeno. I like to saute my veggies on top of the stove before I pop them in the oven. It's only gonna take, y'all, this is gonna take less than 30 minutes to make, okay? Hey you guys, so this is optional. I am sauteing my veggies on top of the stove, adding some seasonings. I also like to put the nan in the oven for a few minutes before adding any other toppings. Um, I apply or apply. I put on the pizza sauce, add seasonings to the pizza sauce. I also added olive oil once I put all the toppings on. And then next up, I add my cheese. Once I cook it in the oven for about 10 minutes, I also pop it un under the broiler for about five minutes. All right, so I'm basically gonna pop this in the oven until the cheese melts. It's pretty high, but you technically don't have to have it that high. I have it on 375. And I'm just gonna watch it until the cheese melts about 10 to 15 minutes. And this is it all done. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.